All right. What you got? What's happening to that skier as she moves? How many of you thought the skier was a boy until you read the question? I read the question. All right. Okay. What's happening to the skier? Yes. How many people have one out of one? All right. What happens to the skier from C to D? What letter is it? Who's volunteering? Pardon me, Marley? It is B. Corroboration? Yes. What is happening in C? At point B, right there. She has reached her maximum speed. C, corroboration? <laughs> Much drama from the front corner. And four. Sure, I can agree. All right. Which of those bad boys is linear? A and B. Why do you think B is linear? This is B. Okay. A. Okay. All right. Corroboration. What's your answer to number six while my computer is thaw frozen? Who's offering? Non-linear. Which is it? Okay. So C is definitely not. A, B, and D are all linear. Point two? It does go by each one. Luke's abs Luke is absolutely correct. So that was plus two, so and that was plus point six, correct? Yeah. And then look at the Which means if I went up by one, what would I be going up by? Three. Three. Oh, whoops. Ooh. Oh, Jalen, should I call up your grade versus Luke's grade? Yeah. You it. you really want me to? Yeah. Jalem. <laughs> the fact that you think that is even remotely close <laughs> is proof that you are having some trouble in my math class. <laughs> <laughs> 
There is a saying, Jalen, people in glass houses should not throw stones. Do you know what that means? Because you could break your own house? Exactly, but do you know what it means? That's not the point. When it's raining cats and dogs, there are not four-legged animals falling out of the sky either. That's why it's a saying. What time did it rain, Okay. Everybody else gets the lesson I'm trying to teach, so we'll just move on. Don't point the stick in someone else's eye when there's a log. Well, what's the actual saying, Kian? It's like, don't try to get the log. No, don't try to get the stone. Don't point out his eye. That's when you're the log in your eye. What kind of saying is that? It's an interesting saying. I think I'm only just trying to say what I think. I remember saying that I have something in your eye. That's not. Number seven. Number seven. A. Corroboration, abscess smurfly. B, or eight, it looks like a B. Shut up, it's Friday. Eight, the answer is indeed C. It's not every real number because it's a bunch of dots. Nine. Corroboration for D? Yes. Real numbers greater than 1, because your 1 is less than your X, but they also have to be less than 3. And because there is no equal sign, nicely done. 10. 10. A. A graph whose points are not connected. A graph of continuous. When comparing two quantities, a Horizontal. Let's pretend you don't know the word horizontal and you wrote that. That would be okay. However, there is only about three people in this room that have any claim to truly not knowing what the word horizontal is. All the rest of you should have known. I would accept flat. I would not accept straight because that is a straight line. That is a straight line. That is a straight line. Turn left at the next light. You turn right. I knew what I meant. Do you pass your driving test? No. Fix this guy's lungs. I took out his appendix. I knew what I meant. What, how, are you, how are you supposed to read after the... How are you supposed to read after the operation? Dude, I said fix his lungs. I didn't say take him out. All right. Number one, those of you that are the astute members of the class will know that it is number one that is missing the right answer. What is the domain and range of number one? The domain is what? X value such that? Y value. Yeah. X is all real numbers. Because you can have every single number, square it, multiply that number by three. You're good. What? No, that's not B. Because what's the range? Yeah, you do. The y is always gonna come up. X is squared. 
right? So even a negative x will do what? The graph is going to, soon as you hit anything negative, you're going to square it, which will become positive. So the lowest value you could have is x is 0. Zero, time, 0 squared is 0. 0 times 3 is th 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So your range is a set where y is greater than or equal to negative 4. And y is a set of real numbers. It is very close to this one, but there's no equal sign. So you had to write it out. That was my typo. Fat fingers clicked the wrong greater than sign. Two. Two, two, two. Everything is worth one mark still. Number two. A roller coaster starts two meters off the ground, reaches the maximum height of 13 meters. The ride lasts four minutes. What is it? Really? Yeah. Look closer. So which is it? It is E. The time is the domain. Domain, zero to four. You knew what you meant. I, I, I mixed up what I mixed up. But I knew what I meant. Number three <laughs> goes from there to there. So what is the range? Negative two to four. Or the domain. What is the range? Negative five to four. Which is it? A, as an aardvark, twice. A-A-R. Actually, thrice. Because A-A-R... D V A R K, Ardvark. I should have used Ard Wolf if I only wanted two A's. I don't even know what an Ard Wolf looks like, but it is an animal. Ard Wolf. And I recently learned about another animal. The, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a mammal with like armor. It's uh, some kind of anteater. It's a mammal with armor, and it is the most highly trafficked poached animal. What is it? A pangolin. That's it. Oh, those things, yeah. Yeah. I just learned about them. Yeah. And why? I mean, for? B. Short answer. Now, listen, please. I am going to ask for you to use the four-point scale here. Okay? So you have a maximum of four. One mark is the purple explanation. All right? This will get you one mark. She rides away. In person, it doesn't, you, you don't know if it's she rides away. She speeds up. At least give it a name. Like she rides home. I give you the name John. If you have that, you get. One. Yeah. Everybody cool? She's riding away. She speeds up. She rides home. Yeah? Okay. Two marks. You would add some times. So zero to 12 minutes. Then, may not 12. Sorry, that's 15. 15 minutes. And then 15 to 30, and then 30 to 50. 
That will get you two. Everybody cool? Yeah, yeah? Three. Uh, zero to 15, she does 2 km per 15 minutes. Then she does 4 km in 15 minutes. And then she does 6 km in 20 minutes. That gets you the three out of four you could have. Four out of four, do we ever give rates like that? No, no. what do we give rates in? Units, by the minute or by the hour? Why is minute a bad decision here? It's weird numbers, but hours is great because this times four is 60 minutes which is one hour, correct? So 8 kmh, 16 kmh, and 18 kmh. That gets you the full four. You decide where you fall on that scale out of four. Everything up to there has been worth one. So you had... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 so far. And now we got four more. Does everybody understand? Yeah. At the bowling alley, Andrew, and shoots three dollars, cost 250 to bowl each game. Make up the equation. Well, the equation needs an X and a Y, which is an IV and a DV. What's the IV? What makes the one of those variables change? The number of games. Bowling, so games is IV. So what's the DV? Cost. What's the constant? $3. She had to pay $3. No matter how many games she bowls, she had to pay $3. So cost of X equals how much? 2.5x for the amount of games plus 3. Yeah, let's go. And it's a 2. So, whatever your explanation is, you get two marks. Oh, well, that's good. If you bothered to explain. B, is it a function? Listen to my question. Is it a function? Yes. Yes. That's it. That's all I am asking. Explain. It's a set price for each game. Every game gives a unique output, a unique cost. I did not ask if it was linear. I did not ask if it was continuous. I did not ask anything like that. All I asked was, is it a function or not? Okay, that gets you two marks because you had to explain. And C for one mark. How much? $12. $13 for one mark. Just for fun, what would that look like if I wanted it in function notation? C of what? C of five, uh, four. four equals 2.5 times 4 plus 3. That's just a little bonus to make sure everybody can do function notation. It's not worth anything. So that page is out of 9. So we're at 26 so far. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he waited patiently. He took a sip of his coffee. All right. A 
A. There are two balloons. There is Al and Car. I wrote that too, no way. How far off the ground is Al? He is the one closer to the ground. So which line is that? It is this line, yes? And Carlinda is that line. I never, it, it's like a, Carlinda's like two names. But Ten. Carlinda. Carlinda. How far is Carlinda? Carlinda. Did you make up that name? 30. One mark. You must have both of them. B. How fast is each balloon rising? Wow. You are going to get... One mark for this, but you have to do it right. How quickly are they rising? Al is 15 minutes per, sorry, 15 meters per minute, and Carlinda, 10 meters per minute. Would I accept? Would I accept uh, times 60, 90 meters an hour? Yes. Or not 90, 900. Yes. Probably. yes. Anybody, did anybody do that? No. Good. <laughs> C, when are the balloons at the same height? Four minutes, Four minutes at 70 meters. For one mark. Three. A. Describe what this graph represents. Hint. It's usually the title. The amount of uh, the distance he is away from home and how long he takes to get. The graph represents the flight from Toronto. Flight from Toronto to Rome. Could you make that better if we were on the four-point scale? What would you say? What is some words you could put in that definition to make it better if I wanted it on the four-point scale? No, that's building language. I'm talking math. Getting better. What does the fact that that line looks like that mean? Constant speed. Yeah. Everybody with me? Yeah. Now we know that's not possible, right? Sure. There's wind, there's weather, there's butt. But, right? Case, okay. B. Somebody's going to screw this up. Nope. What, are the do what is the domain? You start at zero. Time. Is a set of what? Zero, you start at zero, always with the least one first. And then just um, on the uh, open bracket, like the beats pointing towards the zero, but it doesn't have a equal sign. It can equal zero. Yeah. And? Of course it can. Before the time, before the flight goes off, uh, T less than or equal to uh, nine. You could have written zero, nine. Everybody happy? What's the range? Distance such that, what is it? Zero less than or equal to, D less than or equal to, 7,200. Or zero, 7,200. You decide it's worth one mark. And finally, C, how long's the plane been flying? Four hours.
for one mark, making that out of three, that out of three, making that page out of six. That page was out of four and two, four. Four and five is nine. And the last page, graph it. One mark for the graph. What's this bad boy going to look like? I'm just going to get a little space here. My graph is very messy, but it, it, I got the same thing going on. So, the, what is on here? Tickets or profit? Tickets. Now, I'm obviously going up in tens, yes? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. What is on the vertical scale? Profit. At 10, I am down at what? 10, I am down at negative 30, correct? Let's go, computer. Here we go. Boom, boom. At 20, I'm down at 10. At 30, I'm up at 10. At 40, I'm up at 30. At 50, I'm up at 50. So that's my line. Right? Now, am, have I done a graph that is worth one point? Not on the four point scale. This is worth, this graph is worth one point. Do I give you one out of one for that? Why not? It's got to be discrete. Now, technically, there needs to be 10 dots here, yes? Right? So you just show me that. That makes me happy for one. Two, linear. B, linear or nonlinear? Linear, why? Rate of change is constant. Rate of change is constant. For one mark. C. Discrete or continuous? Discrete. Why? No half tickets. You cannot go to High Street and say, I only have seven dollars. Can I watch half the movie? <laughs> D, domain and range. Domain and range. Zero fifty for domain range. Range is tricky. No. Because that's 10 tickets sold. Could we not sell less than 10 tickets? You could sell zero tickets. So your profit would be negative what? Negative 50. To what? No way. To 50. You may have a half a mark there. E, how many tickets must be sold to have zero profit? Well, it must be right there, yes? Halfway between two and three, which is? 25. Five marks available to you there. What does it mean by break even? Break even means you neither make money nor lose money. I like it when you ask questions, Luke, because I sit quietly and you explain your answer to yourself. No, it's awesome, actually. It makes me very happy. I'm not being sarcastic. It's terrific. That means you know you're thinking about math. That is called metacognition, which is every teacher's goal for you people, to make you think about how you think. What is the function? P is profit, F is fences. Let's read the question. Profit equals 
Forty dollars per fence. Okay. Minus 16 F, because the paint is for fences. What? Minus 6. So what is it? 24 F minus 6. If I want it in function notation, it would be P, F, right? Profit is a function of fences. So that gets you one. If you have anything like that, even if you use X and Y, I'll let it slide. B, what's the table of values? Fence, P of F. Minus six. One. Eighteen. Two. Forty-two. Three. Four. Five. One fourteen. For one mark. C. How much profit if he paints fitting fences? Three fifty-four. That looks right to me. D. Twenty fences. Four seventy-four minus six plus six four eighty divided by twenty-four twenty. Yep. For four marks, making that last page out of nine. Making the whole thing out of nine and six is fitting, and nine is 24, and 17 is 41. When will you report that to me? On the test, which is what day? Woden's day. Why? Excellently done. Functions test is moving to. Wednesday, May 30th. And we have five minutes left in class. Tell you what, you guys take an early weekend. I won't even dock your pay. You want to be sarcastic? I got five minutes of work I could give you. What's the appropriate response? Marley, perhaps you could repeat the appropriate response to the five minutes off. You guys take an early weekend. Take the last five minutes off. Oh, you heard it. So you knew the right response. You were just being what? Teenagery?